Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Remove Smart. It was sent to me by Go Game Geek official the Instagram page. It was in collaboration with them. So what is Remove Smart? It is a small retro handheld device which is capable of running all the way up to the PlayStation 1. It has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth included. When it comes to the specs, it has a CPU all winner S3, a RAM of 128 MB DDR3, a 2.4 inch display, a battery life of 1200 milliamp hour which they mentioned it would last for 3.5 hours but on an average i think let's say three hours let's open the box and see what all it comes with it comes with the instruction manual a usb-c charging cable and of course the shimo is smart let's open it up so I specifically asked them for this color. I was thinking of this color and the purple, but I see that everyone uh, on the internet has the purple color. So I thought I'll go with this one. First, we'll start with a small size comparison. So this is very tiny looking. It is the build is similar to a Nintendo DS. Nice feel to the plastic and it has a 2.4 inch screen. So let's compare it with the Mio Mini which has a 2.8 inch screen and that 0.4 difference guys it is a lot and once you start playing it you will definitely understand what I'm talking about. So let's talk about the build quality. My first impression is that it's a very smooth grippy uh, nice feel to it when you hold it. It looks very tiny and very attractive to be honest and if you shake it it does have a rattle i think it's these uh, shoulder buttons and these ones so on the front side we have a d-pad all these buttons the select button the menu button the start button and on the top we have only two shoulder buttons instead of four that uh, you need to consider because some of the playstation 1 games require uh, four shoulder buttons so keep that in mind and on the bottom we have a USB-C charging port, a micro SD card slot and uh, there is no volume rocker guys. We, you would have to use the hotkeys for that. So let's turn it on and see how it goes. Oh man, what's up with the sound? The background music is awful. But apart from that, I like the screen quality, even though it's a tiny 2.4 inch, it's very sharp and clear. So before we go any further, I needed to reduce the sound because it's too loud and it's really irritating. Cool, so let's look at some retro gaming. When it comes to the emulation capabilities, it has a lot guys. It has the Atari, CPS 1, 2, 3, the NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, MAME, MD, Neo Geo, a lot of stuff. PlayStation 1, SNES, Arcade ROMs, so it's a lot guys. And I will show you a few gameplays so that you will get an idea how it looks. Actually, it looks pretty cool, but I think the game scaling is not right, especially for the SNES, but no worries, you can still go to the settings and change the scaling to make it look more sharp and clear. But if you are okay with the full screen just go for how it is anyway it's a very tiny screen so can't ask much but it looks super cool though can't deny that let's test out a Game Boy Advance game everything looks pretty good and I like the feel of the d-pad and the buttons it's very clicky and even though it's a bit loud but it's not too bad Okay, testing out a PlayStation 1 game and it looks pretty good. The screen is bright and looks fine. So, how do you use the hotkeys? You just have to press the select button and do left or right with the shoulder buttons to adjust the volume. And for the brightness you have to do the same with the start button. 
So before I give an overall score, I would like to point out a few things which I didn't like about this device. First of all, let's start with the button sounds. It's too loud. I don't know if you can hear it. Yep, it's pretty loud. I'm sure you can hear it. <laughs> Secondly, I don't like this light which they put right in front of the device, especially in low light. If you look at this, it's pretty bright and it goes right into your eyes while you're playing. It's very distracting while you are playing it in low light. I don't know what gave them the idea to do that. I think it's better to cover this with something if you're planning to play it in the night. And what is up with this background music? Guys, I hope they will come up with a solution to this. I remember the old BitBoy had it. I'm talking about the old NES BitBoy, which only could emulate NES. Man, that was annoying. What do I think about the Trimui Smart? Well, it's a nice horizontal looking device with a decent build where you can add games and make tweaks easily. It has a lot of potential if, I would say, if the community decides to upgrade it with an Onion OS. But anyhow, I still love the device. I love how it looks. It gives you a very special feel while you're playing this. It's a very tiny device. It looks very attractive. You can carry it around. It fits in your pocket. Even though it still didn't come with the travel case, it's still okay. You can just put it in your pocket and still use it anywhere you go. And I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. I think it's a pretty decent score even though it has a lot of negative factors but overall it'll worth getting one especially it has an upgrade of having the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities compared to the Mio Mini. So that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed the video please make sure you give it a like share and subscribe if you want to stay tuned see you next time take care.